Ramon. We get to head to Nashville this weekend. Hello. Does that get you extra excited, considering this is usually the quote-unquote dress <laughs> rehearsal game too? What, you know, it actually does. When I saw it on the preseason schedule, I was actually hoping like this could be a, you know, the, the dress rehearsal game. I enjoy going back home and playing. There's a lot at stake there, you know, personally for me. I live there. You know, I, I might have to see those guys in the mall in the store one day. So <laughs> I need something to be able to tip my hat to. Will you get a chance to see family or friends who are down there before, you know, focusing on the game? Yes, I, I will, but I always try to keep it at a bay. I, I got like 40 tickets. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's a good bit of people coming. But that's the fun part about it is being able to, you know, have your, your people, your family, being able to see you live like that. A lot of people don't get that opportunity, so it's, it's, it'll be cool. All right, it is the, uh, I think, standard question this week for all the starters. Do you personally need to play in the preseason to get your body ready, get your mind ready for the regular season? I think you do. I, uh, at, at a young age, it's always the uncertainty of like, okay, it's the first practice, it's the first game, it's the first hit. There's a lot that goes into it. So then being that this is a game simulation week, it gives you the opportunity to get your feet under you, whether you're making mistakes or not. But um, I honestly think you need it, um, especially when you're playing against a good opponent the way uh, the Titans are. The defensive line, defensive front is uh, pretty good. So it'll be a great test for us. Marquise Pouncey said he's excited just for the five of you to be out there together. You have to agree, right? I do agree with that. Right now, you get a chance for guys to settle into positions. The third game, unless that's like a huge battle going on, you see who's going to be your guys you're rolling with. And like you say, to have the five of us up front also to get Ben, get the receivers. Um, I'm excited to see the production of those guys more because we've had some, you know, subtractions on our team and stuff like that. So I'm antsy a little bit. Randy Feekner told me that it's not that they need to see Ben out there, it's that they want to see Ben out there with other guys. Do you feel like maybe some of these young receivers or new pieces are anxious to get out there to maybe prove themselves with Ben in a stadium on the field? Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, there's a different vibe whenever you're out there on, on the game field with him. And even this week, you know, with him going um, a lot of the, the full team reps against the defense, just watching him work against our number one defense, I'm like, this guy's surgical. Like he is, he is <laughs> good at what he does. And to see this live with uh, a group of young guys like Moncrief and just across the board with having Connor back, um, I think they are ready for that. Zach Gentry told me that he kind of introduced himself to Marquise Pouncey when he first got here and that Pounce has taken him under his wing a little bit. Do you have a guy, maybe somebody unexpected that you're watching over this preseason? Um, Deontay, a young receiver. I, uh, I, I've drawn to that kid and he's to me, I was just talking to him on the practice field. I just like to check on him. I think he's going to be a special talent here. Um, he's got his head on right. He's, he's got a lot to prove, a small school guy, um, a higher draft pick. That's he's. He's wanting to leave a mark. He's the guy that I'm, I'm high on right now. All right. Thanks, Ramon. Thank you.